Hey everybody, this is Oklahoma Bushcraft. This is going to be my first installment of Bush uh, Canteen Cup Tuesday. I'm going to be using my Svea stove, Swedish surplus, a copy of the Trangia, made in 1978 by Svea. I'm going to use the uh, the windscreen that came with the Swedish set. I'm going to use my regular USGI canteen cup. And it was manufactured in 1965 in Ohio. So I'm not going to do much today. That rice will be for another time. So, just going to make some instant coffee. This is just my basic canteen cup kit. I keep uh, a couple of servings of rice, instant rice in my cup. I have some a seasoned packet, uh, Hispanic he, a seasoning packet that I get from the Mexican store. Some GI MRE salt packet, my rat poison, some instant coffee. A Rothko lid that does not fit properly, but I had to uh, flatten out the rim so I can use it. Works pretty good. I keep it in this bag that came out of my uh, one of my uh, Serbian backpack slash uh, uh, shoulder bags, man purse. Anyway. There it is. I had to put my flash palatka up to block the wind. We've got a nice north wind coming in. So let me fill up my stove with some denatured alcohol that I put in an old black powder bottle. And get this thing lit and we'll get going. Okay, I filled it up to here. And it's already drawn up into the wick along the sides. Uh, Put some more alcohol in there. Won't need all of it to get a good, get a boil on, but I'll put it in there anyway. And it'll keep drawing back up into the wick that's inside here. And you can get a longer burn if you fill it up at least twice. See, it's already going down some. I'll go ahead and get a light on it. Let's see. She's hot now. So here's the aluminum windscreen for that Swedish stove. I'll have to do a video of using it sometime or another. So here we go. There's that. Before we put water in the cup, we'll try this on for size. Make sure that the the little hand the little metal brackets inside at the right height. It's not really made for this canteen cup, so... Ouch. That'll work. I had initially planned on having this for lunch today. But uh, we were busy, and I couldn't stop long enough to to cook this. So this afternoon, before dinner, I'm going to have a cup of coffee. And I'll eat dinner with the wife when she gets home. She's already smoking. I think I got a little bit of uh, pine resin left on the bottom soot on the bottom of my cup there from the last time I was out with it.
ready, folks. Oh, no. Neighbor's turkey's commenting, I think. Okay, let's try that again with a little more grace this time. There we go. All right, I'll bring it back. I think I'll kill two birds with one stone today. I'm going to initiate the Canteen Cup Tuesday and the Rain Cup Club. I'm more fond of the cup than I am the Stanley Pot that it came in, uh, but that's what I'm going to be drinking my coffee out of today. Oh, and these on these uh, rings. This is a, the military issue st stove uh, and lid, and it doesn't have a simmer ring like the aftermarket one does, and the aftermarket one doesn't fit this particular stove uh, but you gotta take the o-ring out and be able to put the lid down on top of the fire so that it will uh, snuff out the flames we're almost boiling I don't have to have it boiling for for coffee I'm not like the old timers it seemed like it could scald the skin off their tongues and that's the way they like their coffee I like it just cool enough to drink. Uh, I really do need to get a better setup than using this smartphone, but that's what I have for now. She's hot. Too hot. You can see that flame. There we go. And it should be out. Dry coffee. Two packets of rat poison. I'm not going to be on. Uh, I'm gonna lie to you, it's not the same as fresh campfire cowboy coffee by any stretch of the imagination, but it'll do. Here we go. Cheers.